right, there you go. Well, hello. This is a little different type of video. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit awkward or a little bit different looking at a different camera also. Um, but um, Wonderboom came by to hang out. Uh, we didn't do any work. <laughs> no work was done. No Zero work. work. I didn't Yay. put them in Which work. Which was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> there is still work to be done. But um, I thought it would be fun to make a video about what we've learned after one year of bus life and three years after bus life. So we can just mm. freestyle it and just add in something Good for turn. the newbies out yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. I was just so. thinking, yeah, the one biggie that I was, I think we talked about it in our six month one that we kind of did was like the just flexibility. I mean, that's the biggest thing is you just gotta be totally flexible and open to whatever because <laughs> you never know crap's gonna happen yeah like like a lot of crap that you don't expect and you just have to like you're gonna have days where i think you're gonna question your decision making and <laughs> your life choices and then but those go away and and you solve the problems and then you become more resilient and then you get more confident and then you just become you just things don't bother you nearly as much as they used to it's really awesome actually it's just like i'm not nearly True. as like you know over little stuff yeah right. and if you think about it those hardships those days where the crap really hits the fan something terrible happens those are you could count those days on your hands oh yeah right oh definitely right. compared oh, to definitely. like oh, 365 yeah. so it's, i had a 365 amazing days on the road you could count those on right. two hands so maybe much. it's bad right, that we brought right. that up first <laughs> <laughs> no because again everyone always wants to go oh, all the horrible things that happened on the road you know everyone wants to watch those videos well, and people are used to fear mongering from the local news right and, that's true uh, et cetera. Yeah. so uh, uh to throw that out there i think is all right but right. <laughs> yeah yeah well it's something that you probably noticed too in the first year especially is that you know that that shift from like vacation mode you know that Oh, I gotta go see this. Oh, we gotta go see that. Oh, we gotta go see this. You know, it's like you've got time now. You can yeah. just take your time and look at the map in the morning and go, oh, wow, look at that. That's right there. Oh, let's go see that. You know, mm -hmm. and you can, again, with flexibility, you can just yeah. pick things and just find cool, interesting local yeah. stuff to go see, you know? Yeah. And well, not just blow past the, you know, all yeah, these interesting definitely. things. Definitely. Well, uh, one thing I've noticed after three years on the road is how normal it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Here I am. I'm, I've been parked at my aunt's place for a yeah. couple months. And, and this <laughs> is weird for us. We're, it's like all civilized here. Yeah. I. That's my home. Yeah. That's where I sleep. Yeah. That's where, oh, yeah. you know, that's where I wake up and go to sleep every day. So, yeah. Um, having the bus, you know, I guess before having a bus, having an apartment, I was tied to it. And I thought, oh no, if I get rid of this, then oh my God, I'm going to have to find something else. Right. But once you start living and traveling in a bus yeah. or a van or whatever, you don't really want to go back. No. Right. right. You Cause, know. Cause, oh, yeah. It feels weird. When oh, you're wow. I don't want to own yeah. anything. I don't want to have a lease to anything. I don't want to be tied to anything because I want to be able to leave immediately mm -hmm. if I don't like something. And that's, God, that is freedom. I really think because it's a time issue. You're not putting aside your time to get to this goal that usually is about money or material stuff. You're like using your time every day. Like, how you want to use it yeah and so yeah. It, it's so much more satisfying even though i haven't been doing crap for months eric's been doing all the work honestly i i literally have like had i've like i'm like retired at this point you know i'm like the the backup i'm like the you know it's not Editing like you know we well we have you know we have our jobs and stuff but eric's been making the money for the most part yeah. and so yeah. um but I feel I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm having a great time. Yeah. Chilling out in the van. I love yeah. chilling out yeah. in the van. Yeah. Let's let's think of something that people would would want to know. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Doing laundry is not that big of a deal. <laughs> yes. If you well, go to the laundromat, it's an hour. You're yeah, done. that's right. Okay, so let's talk about normal tasks that people yeah. might think are overwhelming. So laundry, pretty easy. I thought that was yeah. going to be my yeah. my. I thought I was going to hate that the most. Cooking. Oh, love cooking. Pretty easy. I love Just, cooking, so cooking, yeah. yeah. Uh, now, what do you do with, the, oh, what about a refrigerator? What about storing the food? Ah, pretty easy, right? Yep. Got a refrigerator, got, a got solar, yeah. got so get batteries. Your 12, get, get your 12 volt fridge, mm -hmm. Yeah, you will thank us later. Yeah. yeah. Uh, food storage, there's, I mean, you guys are in a, a pretty cozy bus there. I'm yep. in a bigger bus, but two people, is it enough space? Yeah. For right. us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So some people would need more space. Some people can't be that in close proximity with each other. Yes, like. <laughs> but we, 
Um, we were going for a sprinter in the beginning, so this is like a, you know this is like a mansion yeah. compared to what we were thinking of when we yeah. were first starting this out. So yeah. um, no, it's, it works great for us. I don't. I, it's my home. I love it. Oh, let's talk about another okay. fear mongering thing that people just people just cl you cling to the fear stuff. So uh, have you guys ever been scared parking overnight? Not really no. scared. A little sketch. No, not scared. A few times where I was a little worried a few for a few hours personal but then, safety never yeah. something might somebody might might disappear something off the back right so more yeah. more one time yeah just actually, more worried honestly. about our stuff now that's yeah. that's that's a good question because now are the were those circumstances in a bigger city or in a smaller middle of nowhere place it was in the city yeah, yeah, city. yeah it was oh always yeah the, city's the, always yeah, more the dangerous most, the things yeah. that i've realized that all the crime yeah oh yeah all the bad things happen all the all, all the the thieves all well, most of the drug people who are going to come and you know the meth heads going to yeah. take your stuff they're That's not going to go they're, they're more in the cities medium they're not sized go towns 30 miles down a dirt road to find one camper exactly you right. know it's like there's <laughs> it's they're not going to be out in the boonies <laughs> no hiding behind a bush yeah. waiting for the single female okay. van lifer to to, to pull up and then poof. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's not a cartoon, yeah, it's yeah. like, it's, and it's just, yeah. It's and ridiculous. there is so much yeah. fear mongering about that because that's the first thing you ask, what about your safety? And that's what Eric's mom asked us and you know, they're all weird. I think you're safe. I think you're more safe. It's weird. Okay, people are gonna think that's strange. But listen, you're you're stuck in an apartment or a house. You're stuck there. Someone right. can target you and you have nowhere to go. In this case, we can just drive away. Right. You know, I mean, it's yeah, like the you thing don't too, have to. When you're in a totally out in a boondocking spot, you hear everything. Oh I mean, yeah. yeah, oh god, you yeah. like tune in to that's, that's everything really around true. you. I mean, you hear any little crackle on the gravel outside, oh, the, the or any birds on the noise. ground. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you hear it, and you 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 know, you're I'm looking, I'm checking it out, making sure. But I mean, mm -hmm. again, yeah. when I'm out there, I'm not expecting if I if I'm if I'm going to see anything, it's going to be a deer or a, true or an elk yeah. or something wandering around. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, or maybe a bear, but you know, but it's like. Not a person, you know. I'm yeah, not expecting so, that there's but on this a note, okay, so we've never been knocked on, mm -hmm. never had yep. the cops come. One year come, down. <laughs> never had a private like citizen tell us to get off our line. It happened to me once. Yeah, really only, only once. once. Three three years? Three years? Wow. That's pretty That's good. Amazing. So it doesn't happen that often. They they yeah. don't. As long as you don't hang out at a place for a long time on a street or something, if it's overnight, yeah, and you're gone in the morning, no one cares. Yeah, they don't yeah. really care. Parking yeah. obviously. Some places, places like in richer yeah. neighborhoods, you don't want to do that. But yeah. like you know, there's a lot of places. We parked on the street in Seattle. We parked on the street in Portland. No issues at yeah. all. Mm -hmm. and, and I think also on that note, if you come across as nice or friendly or right. you wave, smile, right. I think that could probably go a long way. Right. People are seeing these buses, you know, around fairly and thinking, conventional. oh, who's this? Yeah. But also a lot of them are, oh, wow, I wonder what the interior looks like. Right, right. Yeah. You know? yeah. So yeah. if you're approachable like yeah. and, and friendly and, and use common sense. We'll always sense show off and, our bus. We love yeah. it. Yeah. 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 I think that I think that would help the future right. boondockers out there who don't really know. How, yeah, how, yeah how that's a works. really good, yeah. You, right. If you don't own the parking lot, you don't have a permission to stay there. Um, but you know, if you're friendly, then hopefully things will go your way. But at some point, you will get knocked on. Right. Yeah. And as you're traveling, right. that's the biggest planning thing that you need to do. Yeah. So for us, we're not going to like come up on something in the dark that we've never been to before. That's supposed to be some dupe that we found on you know I Overlander or something. We always get to our place before it's dark, except for one time. And I will never do that again with Dutch yeah, Mark. Yeah. We were trying to yeah. we'll never ever do that again. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Yeah. No, it wasn't Mark's fault. But, um, hi, Dutch Mark. Anyway, um, so so yeah. So that's one of the things that we do that lowers the stress level tremendously. Um, what's and yeah. when we're looking for those spots, usually I'll have we'll have one or two more so that when right, you, yeah, we you have get second, to the first one yeah, we have and it just clearly and is not going to work you got a few more nearby or other options yeah. to look for you know oh, i mean let's... i'm like welcoming some like the knock the knock cuz i'm like it's not happened <laughs> so i'm like come Let, knock on our now, door another, we don't have that story another common thing that i always see or hear or get asked is i think i've addressed it many times is how do you make money on the road and i am doing the youtube thing mm -hmm. other people do other things mm -hmm. and some people are 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 afraid to take the leap of faith and do the bus or van or you know mobile thing and they're like ah well if i had work then i could do it but right. you guys kind of just went for it kind we of did and we had kind of like plans like maybe we'll do amazon maybe we'll do the beet harvest maybe you know we knew we, we'd watched all the videos and so we knew that there were things that we as older people who are not digital nomads not that old <laughs> anyway uh didn't have those skills my right. skill set did not transfer to bus life at all right. for that what i've been doing for the last but for my my side of it's totally different yeah, yeah i mean i had 30 years of 
carpentry experience. So you can take that. If you've got any kind of trade experience. Oh yeah. There's, there's needing, there's everywhere you go, they need help. And there's, for one, uh, if you do skilled trades in particular, there's Tradesman International in bigger cities. It's like a temp agency for a skilled tradesmen. So if you just need a week or two of work, you just call them up, they'll send you to a job and boom, you're, you're and you get paid right at the end of the week. Yeah. And the only you're thing you have there, to you worry know, about so. is like, I don't know how it would work with where your residency is and stuff like that. That would be the only yeah, thing. Yeah, I mean, that's up to you to deal with the taxes and right. the rest of it at the end of the year. But right. you just basically are, they, they're like a, you know, they just supply people to jobs. Uh, mm -hmm. And right now, again, there's so much need for anyone with skilled trades. So, mm -hmm. anywhere yeah, so you Eric go, had you the can skill do that. set. He, he's been working. We've had projects. And you, you know, we've seen, you know, he's done a van build. He's worked on a lot of buses or yours, many other people's. Um, we just did a tiny house kitchen. Um, so yeah, he's yeah, been working. Lots of stuff to do. And now we're gonna take some time off. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Eric gets to not have to work for a while. And we're gonna plan our next step, which is building, we're gonna, we're gonna probably make our own business. And but we'll talk about that later. Yeah, it's we'll it's, it's stuff that we're just in the baby steps of, but we'll have time and, and, um, Right. wherewithal to actually you know think about what our next steps are going to be in this mm -hmm. life because mm -hmm. we're definitely not going back i don't see this as um you know we have friends who like to stay in places for a long time they want to like be in one place for six months like here and then go to the desert when it's uh cold up here and that's great but we're not ready to do that yet and so we're like in travel mode i want to keep traveling mm -hmm. so even when we go down for um to Arizona and the Southwest this year for winter. Mm -hmm. We usually, you know, you hang out with all your friends, you see all your friends and you hang out with them. But we're gonna be exploring a lot more than we did last mm -hmm. year. We mm -hmm. weren't able You're to mix it up. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. actually on that note of mixing it up, people probably, some people are probably wondering, oh my gosh, does it get boring? And I, <laughs> and I will answer that um, after three years traveling around. Um, it's not that it gets boring, it's that if you have the same routine or the same objective, uh, meaning like if you have that one town that you know you're gonna pass through and you're gonna get that one clam chowder, <laughs> and then you're gonna get back on the road and sleep at that one rest stop. And some people really like that. You know, some right, people are some really people into like that. Some people like routine. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like to, to keep things fresh. Um, mm -hmm. And so this winter, I'm gonna be parked at a ski resort and snowboard yeah, all winter. That's gonna be really That's something I personally wanted to do forever. I've you know skied since I was little and we're gonna be right um, near the snowboard, snowboard bowl. Or snowboard, yeah, and and uh, being a, a ski bum yeah. has always yeah. sounded fun. So yeah. this <laughs> kind of thing that. That yeah, really will fun. allow me to to do something to do like it, that. Yeah. If I was in an apartment or had a mortgage or whatever, it'd be hard to leave all of that to to put myself out right. there. But also if I had kids and a wife, yeah, and right. that would just be more complicated. But I um, mean, that's something for us. We don't have kids, so that, that yeah. you know, people have kids in places and they're gonna go, that's gonna be their routine, is yeah. to go see their kids, right. probably. Right. You know, but we don't have that. We have relatives so, who won't go do that. So anyway, have sorry. you guys gotten bored at all traveling around? You guys? No. I, I have not gotten bored traveling. I have gotten bored staying in one place while Eric's working on a job. Ah. <laughs> so but that's a whole different thing. So I'm stuck. We do not have a second vehicle right now. That's a whole nother story, but we're gonna get one. So that would change if I had a second vehicle. Yeah. I could yeah. do whatever I wanted. Do a couple of errands. Right. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah. oh yeah. Get food yeah. or, yeah. Oh, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so I'd be doing a lot but more But I mean, we, yeah, I mean, the absolute opposite generally is that, I mean, we've, we thought we were gonna see a lot more. I mean, mm. but there is so much. Right. You know, everywhere you <laughs> yeah. go. Yeah. Again, this is a massive country. There's so yeah. much to see, especially out west here that, you know, again, yeah, we had this idea we were gonna do this whole big loop around on the way for the summer, and it's like we barely got up to Washington State. You know, I mean, it's just <laughs> yeah, like because we're, we're stuck in just we're enough stuck in Oregon, Oregon and Northern California. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, in a good you way go, though, in a great yeah, there's way. There's yeah. so much yeah. to see, and, and again, if you're just open to looking at the map and looking at for those little nooks and crannies, and really, there's so much amazing beauty. True. To go see. True. Oh yeah, and, and that's yeah. what that's what we love. That's so that's that's and, what feeds our soul. Right. Yeah. Is yeah. to go to those places, like the waterfall that we hiked to the mm -hmm. other day, mm -hmm. and I mean that mm -hmm. was just absolutely gorgeous, yeah. and it just uh, or a museum and, and the, the workout you know, whatever, and like yeah. getting out. Oh yeah, and, yeah. 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 And and on that note, I I almost had a, almost a kind of burnout of of driving. I love driving. Mm -hmm. I could drive hundreds of miles a day every day, but it was like this constant need to like go somewhere else and be somewhere. And that's what and, you and were doing for like a long time. Fun, yeah. but but it drains my wallet. Yeah, <laughs> and it's really yeah. a lot more expensive. So in the future, I think what I would do differently um, would be to kind of staycation somewhere, stay for like a week, because there's so many amazing places that you could right. stay, like like a place like Bend. You know, you don't right. have to just blast through. 
you right. could go when the season is good, you know, um, you could go with the weather, you could go to a place like Sedona and not just see something for a day or two, but right. stay for a week or yeah. two and do yeah. all these different activities and hikes. Or even hikes. Yeah. like yeah. rolling vistas. They're staying in one place, but they're moving around, mm -hmm. camping, yeah. but they're staying like centered in one area. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's a great idea. Yeah. So a place that has a lot of stuff, like Southern Utah. Yeah. You know, yeah, so yeah, that right. you could stay, you could literally yeah. stay there and for like months. That's right. where the yeah. second vehicle would come in handy. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you could park and go off. Exactly. Yep. And that's, and that's the thing. where and that's my course, back roads that's where my electric bikes would come in handy. Yeah. Because yeah. then we could park yeah. someplace and kind of get around a little totally. bit. Totally. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. what I'm kind of zip into for. town. And so that yeah, we had our Chevy Blazer for a month before the transmission went out. Woohoo! No more Chevys. No more Fords. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. But let's see what else after one year and three years. Um. Yeah, I was trying to think too. Um, Ooh, let's talk about the people that we have met, oh, including yeah. each yeah, other. Yeah, totally. I mean, that, that's yeah. the biggest thing. That's the the most uh -oh. hugest thing of all. Yeah, is the people. I've met. Yeah. I have met the most incredible people. Two of them right here. <laughs> <laughs> the most incredible in Badger Canada, and I could go on and on and on. Mm -hmm. uh, but the most incredible, generous, just fun, kind. Mm -hmm people who just have this uh, different sense of freedom and adventure and generosity and just a sense of, of just calm, you know, everything's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got something going on. Oh, so-and-so knows somebody. Oh, let's make a call and let's- Oh God, you saved our you know, ass. We got our U-joints fixed by badge. The <laughs> first time, like just literally fixed by badge because you called him and was like, oh, we'll go out there and see him. That was awesome. And so then we met badge and then now, I mean, yeah. Now we're yeah. friends with Badge. Yeah. Right. It's like, yeah, and, and then of course, yeah. with Badge for months. It's right. Like, <laughs> and, then, and then if Badge needed something, of course, you guys have, you know, oh, no problem. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's, oh, God, it's yeah. like this great, almost kind of like barter system. Everyone's that, got a skill. Yeah. You, gotta, you find the skilly people. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's, yeah. yeah. And then this, but then a skill is someone who can make you laugh. A skill is someone who can cook really well, you know. Yeah. So there's a lot of skills. Or just being so a good. So many great artists. Oh my yeah. god. Or just yeah. being good company out in the yeah. desert and the yeah. you know yeah. winter Sitting nights and, the and yeah, exactly. And farting and eating good marshmallow, <laughs> uh, um, maple, uh, maple marshmallow, marshmallow, maple marshmallow, maple marshmallow, maple marshmallow, marshmallow <laughs> s'mores. Mm. Yeah. Looking yeah. forward to that. To, uh, yeah, it is. You better be getting here. a lot of those bags. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Yeah. The um. Yeah. If I didn't have savings or if I was in a different situation, I think what I would do is uh, take seasonal jobs. Like mm -hmm. Schooly right. Love, the blue bus yeah. shirt oh, yeah. that I wear. Yeah. Just the nicest guy. Um, and uh, he and his wife do seasonal jobs and I, I respect that and oh, I yeah. think it is cool. That's yeah. actually yeah. what we thought we would be doing first off before right. he got like a big break and, and just got a lot of projects yeah. so before that we thought that's what that we were kind of like oh we'll just go to places and work for, for a time yeah and the cool thing about that is that you are not paying for rent you're not right. paying for yeah. trash you're not paying for a bunch of these other things so if you roll up in your bus and you do work camping mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay you're paid you know 10 or 15 bucks an hour whatever but 10 or 15 but that's pure profit right yeah, yeah. if you had your yeah, 30 bucks an hour minus your car and your gas and your rent and your and car insurance right. or whatever and, yeah, yeah. how much of that 15 bucks an hour are you keeping per or 30 bucks an hour exactly, are you keeping yeah. so you're actually ahead by taking these lower paying jobs right. when you have less expenses yeah and then of course a that. lower tax rate you too right. worry about your camera in the water yeah. uh, i think no. we're okay for now okay. it's okay. drizzling a little drizzle oregon it's yeah. Oregon. <laughs> We're trying to go south, get back in the sun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's, see, let's see, what else after three years? Um, well, yeah, you're taking a big turn now. I mean, you're doing something that you haven't like, I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, well, you know, hashtag ski bum. But yeah. I think it would be fun also to park down in Mexico and Baja and surf oh, yeah. for a couple of months there too. You I mean, go. That's my background yeah. too. So. Yeah, yeah. I Hopefully you guys are all right year. with surfing and snowboarding videos. It'll be a little bit different. Um, I just didn't want to <laughs> do a repetitive thing and uh, I, I will be sad to miss out on the van build party and the RTR and things like that. Yeah. But you know, just driving around for the sake of driving around. Um, I've done I, that. Yeah, I want to, <laughs> you have, I, actually, I have some other ideas too yeah. for yeah. videos and yeah. things, but I- For that, this is, this is change and different for you. So, yeah. so that's what's, yeah. um, we're not, we're not done with our, you know, traveling around. I, I have so. some other wild ideas yeah. uh, traveling. <laughs> And, yeah. and oh. so I'd like to go, you right, know, do right. some backpacking yeah. things, do some other, yeah. you know, yeah. things. There's so many things. Yeah. Yeah. It's open. It's wide open. That's the other thing. You feel wide open. Like it's almost sometimes where 
where are we going to go next? It's, there's <laughs> yeah. too many choices. What are we going to do? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes that becomes overwhelming. You're like, you're like, oh, darn, where do we yeah. go there? <laughs> Good problem yeah. to have. Though. Yeah. Right. So before before the bus life, I worked in a bar and mm -hmm. I slaved away and made somebody else rich for years, <laughs> and um, my joints hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my lower back hurt. Mm -hmm. You know, I was working my ass off. My uh, the back of my knees hurt. My ankles and I was up late and I didn't sleep well hmm. and I had the worst songs in my head when oh I would go <laughs> home at night. It was like the, the, the latest you were like the club, top right? 40 yeah, remix. Oh really God. Terrible. And so I, I, I wake up every day and I'm like, I have no terrible song in my head. <laughs> the birds, this the is birds great. chirping and the, <laughs> that's why you, the that's why you asked me if it was, I will survive on the trail if that was the song in my head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, it's anyways. nice. Oh wow. So okay, if you guys can or want to get out of the rat race, highly yeah. recommend it. Uh, from me, I think these guys would recommend it too. Oh, highly, highly. It is sometimes challenging, but you know what? That makes it fun and it makes you have a, a, a life worthy of a movie script in that's some right. ways. Yeah. Damn right. And so. the bad things are the good parts are, are the most interesting stories. That's it true. It turns out. Yeah, that's true. The really yeah. fun and beautiful things are like, oh, yeah. meh. Yeah. You know those tires in Moab. Oh, oh, oh how that happened. Every <laughs> hardship has a yeah. fun story. All right, and as you can done. see, it's it raining. raining. And then it starts so, raining. So we will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Hit that subscribe. Make sure to check out Wonderboom. Please. Uh, yes. Nicole is in the shower. Otherwise, we would have included her. But <laughs> right. this was kind of like a... Impromptu. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we just want to... We always forget to film when we're with Jax. We actually are just having too much fun. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get the camera inside. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Bye.